Devils. I'm your engineer and I'm back again with another video. So, Manchester United, Rafael Varane. What's going on? What's the situation? And I know this has been going on for a couple of weeks. However, there's been substantial updates now, so that's why I'm making the video. So, Rafael Varane is at training today at Real Madrid. He'll be respectful till the last day at Real Madrid. But his move to Manchester United is getting closer and closer. Work in progress to complete the agreement between the clubs. Real Madrid are now prepared to sell Varane as he wants to leave. And Fabrizio Romano, we all know, one of the most reliable, uh, if not the most reliable person for transfer news. So, Rafael Varane to Manchester United is getting closer. The fee is of reportedly around €50 million, Euros, which is actually a bargain for the type of player Rafael Varane is. Rafael Varane is a world-class, quality centre-back and he'll improve and slot straight into the first team at Manchester United and he's an absolutely brilliant player I love Rafael Varane I've I've loved him ever since I saw him um, you know he's just we were linked to him under Alex Ferguson to be honest but the move never materialised he went on to join Madrid uh, Mourinho loved him uh, he joined Mourinho at Madrid and he was ever since then he's been he's just been incredible the type of player Varane is quick he can pass uh, his reading of the game, his situation, awareness is really, really good. Uh, Rafael Varane is just a world-class quality centre-back. If one of the top centre-backs in the world football. And he's linked to Manchester United. I can't believe it. Manchester United are acting like a big club. We've secured the signing of Jadon Sancho, one of the hottest prospects in world football. One of the best right-wingers, left-wingers uh, there is. And now we're looking at another top target, Rafael Varane. Um, we're negotiating with Madrid regarding the terms. We have agreed personal terms uh, with Rafael Varane so Manchester United have agreed terms with Varane that's all done now all they have to do is reach an agreement with Madrid if they do that an agreement is found then Rafael Varane will be a Manchester United player there are other clubs such as Chelsea Paris Saint-Germain are linked to Rafael Varane however Rafael Varane is, has his heart reportedly set on a move to Manchester United and he only wants Manchester United so Rafael Varane you know if he joins us that will make Manchester United's defence one of the best defences in world football. We've got Luke Shaw, Harry Maguire, which Harry Maguire has has now proven himself to Matt in my eyes. He's been really, really good. Uh, I say, I'd say since December, the first half of the season, Maguire wasn't that great. However, he's picked up form since December and he's just been a colossal player at the back for England and Manchester United. He's just been fantastic. Uh, so, Rafael, uh, sorry, uh, Harry Maguire and alongside him, Rafael Varane will just complement Maguire so much. We need that covering centre-back. Varane's got pace. And what that allows Manchester United to do now is to push forward. Because we don't need to protect the back. We don't need to protect Maguire and Lindelof. Both slow defenders with two central defensive mids. Now what Ole Gunnar Solskjaer can do if we do secure the signing of Rafael Varane is... Because of Varane's pace, it allows Manchester United to play with one defensive midfielder and two number eights. So we can switch the formation to a 4-3-3 with a holding DM and then two further number eights. Um, because we don't need to we don't need to worry about counterattacks as much because Varane is a fast, pacey defender. Um, and alongside Varane, we've obviously got Aaron Wan-Bissaka, who's one of the best right-backs. Uh, I don't see the hate against Wan-Bissaka. He's one of the best right-backs, in my opinion, in world football. He's an absolutely incredible player. I don't see why people can't understand his qualities. He's absolutely incredible. Even attacking capabilities, um, that's, that's a rumour, that's a myth. If you look at the attacking attacking out, in, output of Wan-Bissaka last season, he was, one of the, he was up there with the, one of the top right-backs, you know. He had a couple of assists, a couple of goals, um, and he's really good. I just love Van Bissaka as a player. I, I I see him as an incredible player. Um, I don't understand the hate. I hate regarding him to be honest. Uh, Van Bissaka is a quality player. So Van Bissaka, Varane, Maguire, Luke Shaw, and then Dean Henderson behind him. That's that's a really good base to build on. And I think what Solskjaer has noticed with Maguire and Lindelof. You can't. You don't get that security, that sense of security. Uh, Varane will bring that, in my opinion. Varane's a quality. We all know he's a world-class player. He will bring that calmness, the security. The, he will allow Maguire. When Maguire makes the driving run forward, Maguire can do that even more now. Because Maguire, that's one of his qualities. Maguire does a driving run forward and you can't really tackle him. He's like a bulldozer going past the defenders. We saw that for Man United. We saw that for England as well when he's dri driving, dribbling with the ball. Maguire's dribbling, that's an underrated quality as well. Maguire's dribbling is really, really good with the ball. Um, and what that will allow you know, Maguire to do is do that more often because Varane can stay back, he can cover because he's really, really fast. Varane is one of the most quickest, the fastest centre-backs there are. Um, and that would mean you just change 
the whole dynamic of our defending, the whole dynamic of the team, as will Jadon Sancho, uh, Sukun the signing of Jadon Sancho for the right wing and slash left wing position. It just had a whole new, it'll be like a whole new team that we see next season. Just just these two players, Sancho and Varane, it improves the quality um, as well as the dynamic of the team. You know, it shifts because Man United were predominantly attacking down the left. I think it was around 60% um, down the left hand side. For example, Luke Shaw and Rashford or Luke Shaw and James. That was our predominantly we were attacking down the left hand side. But with Varane and Sancho, we can now proceed to balance our play. Uh, attack on the right, left and the centre if we want. Because Cavani's holder play is really, really good. Uh, so that it proves you know, these signings are really, really... These two signings will make a massive impact on the way we play football next season. Um, and in my opinion, these two players themselves, just Sancho and Varane, I, I don't see a reason why Ole Gunnar Solskjaer can't win a trophy next season. Anything... I think, you know, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, the pressure is on Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. If we do secure the signing of Varane, we have one of the best teams in the Premier League and the pressure is on Ole Gunnar Solskjaer to win a trophy. If he doesn't win a trophy next season and we come around fourth, I think I would class that as a failure. In my opinion, I would class that as a failed season. Um, we need minimum uh, top three. That should be the aim for the Premier League and minimum a trophy, one trophy. That's That should be the bare minimum next season. Um, we're Manchester United, we've gone nearly three, I think we have actually gone three seasons maybe without winning a trophy, uh, that's not good enough to be honest, that's not acceptable, however, if you do look at it in the broader scheme of things, the team was very imbalanced, we had a lot of Deadwood players, which Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has slowly and slowly surely shipping out, um, and he's, he's shifted the change, the club looks more stable now than when it was when Solskjaer came in, uh, Solskjaer has done a great job rebuilding, uh, the confidence is there, it's getting there, uh, he stabilised the boat, but now, in the third season, with these players that he has at his disposal, Solskjaer has to win a trophy, he has to de- deliver, I do I do agree, to be honest, we should have won the Europa League, and it wasn't, technically it wasn't Solskjaer's fault that we lost the Europa League final, but it was in a sense that he didn't really make subs, uh, we, our players got tired, and we should have finished the game within the 90 minutes, I think Ole Gunnar Solskjaer got his tactics a bit wrong, but, it wasn't his fault every day he missed the penalty. You know, it was it wasn't Solskjaer's fault. Uh, you can't predict those type of things. Penalty is a fifty fifty. They go either way. Uh, any team can win a penalty shootout. It doesn't really mean that just because you're Man United you have to win. As you saw with England as well, it's hard. Penalty shootouts are hard. Uh, De Gea obviously missed the penalty, uh, which we should have we should have won. You know, we should have won the Europa League. But it does it comes part part of the parcel. You win some, you lose some. With Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, he's lost quite a few finals to be honest. But we do need to win. We need a trophy next season. I won't accept anything less than a third place, as in top three, uh, and a trophy. That, that's the bare minimum. Money and I should be aiming for next season. A couple of trophies and second place would be really good. That would be a successful. Uh, but bare minimum, we have to get a trophy and better third place or better next season. Um, but we have to have a sustained challenge to the Premier League. You know, we can now. We have the team. In my opinion, with Sancho, and if we do get Varane, we have the team that we can challenge now. Um, albeit Man City's team, they still have a better team, uh, in my opinion. Even if they get Harry Kane, they'll be an incredible team. But right now, they still have an incredible team. So it will be hard to destabilise Guardiola. Guardiola's tactics of football is really good. One of the best managers in the world. Uh, Man City have one of the, you know, the best player, nearly a best player in his position. But we came close last season. Uh, we dropped a couple of silly points. That's when we had a couple of injuries to the team, uh, and we could have, we could have, you know, we could have sustained a bit longer. But we kind of faded out towards, you know, dropped a couple of silly points. But with these signings, I think we can, we can do it. Uh, you know, we can do something good next season. Ali is building something really, really special at this club. This team that you look at now is really, really good, and I did predict. Varane and Sancho to Manchester United. If you do look at my link in the description below, I did a predicted predicted lineup video for next season. So this season now, um, and I had Varane as my top centre back dream signing, and we're nearly close to getting him. And then Jaden Sancho as the right wing position. Uh, I also had a midfielder, uh, Calvin Phillips. I think Calvin Phillips is really underrated. He's a really good player, uh, but I don't think Man United are exploring any sort of possibility for Calvin Phillips. But if I was one of the directors at football at uh, Manchester United. I would be recommending Calvin Phillips in that central defensive mid position. Uh, he's absolutely. I love Calvin Phillips. Calvin Phillips is a great player. Um, 
you would slot straight into our first team, Calvin Phillips. Um, if Pogba leaves, then Calvin Phillips, Van de Beek, Bruno. Uh, if if Pogba doesn't leave, Calvin Phillips, Pogba, Bruno. That's a really good balanced midfield. But I don't think we are quite. I don't think Calvin Phillips. Uh, he's on the radar for Manchester United. But this video, Rafael Varane, fifty million euros, which is around thirty-eight million pounds, is a bargain. For example, Arsenal are signing Ben White for fifty million, which. Ben White is a good player, but he's not obviously not worth 50 million. We all know that. It's just the English tax. Uh, for example, Declan Rice is valued at 100 million, which is absurd. That's stupid. Uh, but if they value him at that much, you know, what can he do? Harry Maguire was 80 million. It's just the English player tax, to be honest. But Varane is a bargain for 38 million. We're getting a world class, one of the best centre backs in world football for 38 million pounds. If the transfer comes past, that's an incredible value signing. In my opinion, that would put it up as the signing of the summer. Uh, 38 million pounds for Varane is a proven, proven system back. So that's, a, that's absolutely brilliant. That's a steal. That's a bargain. Um, so let's see what happens anyway. Let me know what you think about Varane in the transfer in the comments below. Um, it's been MBS Legend. Please like, subscribe. I'll see you guys later.